Hello, Madonna University students, staff, faculty, and visitors. Here at Madonna, our degrees change lives. Today, we'll be discussing all things financial abundance. There's so many questions around financial aid. Uh, what exactly is FAFSA? Why do I need it? How do I do it? No worries, I've got you covered. Stay tuned. All of our questions in regards to financial aid, they will be answered. Welcome, 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 Madonna University Crusaders. How are you all? How has the semester been going great for you? I hope so. I am praying that it is and that it has been, that all is well. So today we're going to talk all things financial aid and the critical and necessary steps it takes to achieve financial abundance while obtaining your degree. Sounds good, right? So today's special guest is Brandon Hawkins, a current Madonna University financial advisor. So before we begin, we're going to just get to know Mr. Hawkins and then we'll dive into all of the knowledge and great insight that he has to offer us. So, hello. Hi, it's great to be here in lovely old Livonia, Michigan, where right. it snowed the past couple of days and it took forever to get to work. Exactly. <laughs> I feel you on that one. It's like, oh, here's Michigan again. <laughs> so how, how how are you? How have you been? I've been good. Um I was chilling with my girlfriend last night, and we were watching like a ton of Disney movies, so I got to awesome. go through the three Beauty and the Beast movies that they came out with. I thought they only made the one, but they have two sequels that are kind of trash, but <laughs> we got through it. We love Disney. We love it. We love it. So first, I just want to say thank you for joining us. Oh, thanks and for having me. Yeah, of course. And we know that you, as well as other, you know, Monona University faculty are very busy. So we truly appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to chit chat with us of course. here at Madonna. So being a financial advisor is a very pivotal role, you know, as it pertains to the students and college success. For those who implement financial aid program and even those who choose to you know, prioritize saving beforehand. But we do know that financial aid is really important and being an advisor is a very pivotal role to have. So is there any, let's say, advice you would give students just off the dome as it pertains to just preparing for college? Some people, they go from high school to college, and then there are others who just choose to go further along in life. So is there just any just off the dome, just random advice you could just simply give? I would say that if you're choosing to go to a university or a college, one thing that is really important that I've learned through uh, my career as a financial aid advisor is wherever you're applying, check their website or call one of their admissions reps or however you can do it, but find out how much it's going to cost for you to go there because a lot of students go into college not knowing what the financial burden is going to be, if there is one. Sometimes mm -hmm. um, you might be able to go there for free because of state-based or federal-based aid, mm -hmm. but other times students can get in over their heads with the cost of tuition and going to school um, and going to higher education, so it's important to know what you're getting yourself into before you get into that. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was really good. Great insight. And most students, you know, they typically ask before they even dive into knowing anything about financial aid. All you hear is, how much financial aid will I get? Like, before they even become knowledgeable of what ex what it is exactly. So, well, you already kind of expressed what steps you encouraged them to take to find out exactly what financial aid is, but can you just express like how financial aid or how they'll go about receiving it? Like steps or, you know, there's an application process, you know, you provide like your taxes and sh and it has to be done and insured by the due date. Yeah. So financial aid is loans, grants, and scholarships, all three of those. And um, for the most part, most schools will accept the FAFSA, which is on studentaid.gov. It's the free application for federal student aid. Um, in Michigan, specifically, they have state-based grants that the deadline is typically March 1st. Last year was May 1st, but it's typically March 1st, so you want to get your FAFSA done as soon as possible. Uh, the FAFSA goes online on October 1st every year. 
So between October 1st and March 1st, that should give you enough time to complete the application, submit it to the schools you're applying to, and call up the schools or email the schools to receive feedback to see if there's anything else you need to do or if there's any other scholarships or grant opportunities that you have available to you. Absolutely. Look, I I absolutely know what it's like to wait the last minute (laughs) (laughs) trying to figure out things. So it's very, very important that, yeah, that deadline to ensure. And I know that deadlines, they vary sometimes also with different institutions, correct? Yes, that's correct. So it's very, very important, you guys, that (laughs) you remember the deadline. I think the thing to remember, though, is... If you get it done early, then that gives you a buffer in case something goes wrong or they need you to do other things. So as long as you get it done as soon as possible, whatever school you send it off to, you should be fine. Yeah, absolutely. So that's very, very important to know. And I know that they'll need to know a few things also when applying. We discussed, you know, what exactly FAFSA was and then how they're going to have to have like their tax returns, as we stated before, a social security number, driver's license, a list of schools you would like to apply for. But is there anything else that you think um, that they may need that I may be missing out on? Or that I didn't touch on? Uh, Sometimes schools will ask for verification documents. So when you submit your FAFSA, the government can flag it based on a number of different things that they might feel needs explaining or elaboration. So that's where the tax documents can come in. They want to be able to verify the the income information that you put on the FAFSA, whether the student did or the parent did. Gotcha. Um, Sometimes you might need to provide um, proof of your high school graduation, so high school transcripts or high school diploma. Um, If you jump between colleges within a small amount of time, like a bunch of colleges in a small amount of time, you might need to provide transcripts from those institutions that you've been to um, just to verify that you got grades at that place and you're not just hopping from college to college to college um, trying to get a refund because even though it's a very popular thing to do, the do- the government does track that. Yeah. So that's, you might hear the term UEH or unusual enrollment history. The government does track how many schools you go to and within, um, I think it's a four-year period, if you go to a certain number of schools, then they can yeah. flag your application for that. So oh, yeah. just things to be aware of. Yeah, that's really good. I'm happy that you mentioned that. So before we go... Because, you know, we got right into it. You you answered all of my questions so effectively. (laughs) But before we go, can you give us like a few, let's say, like pros and cons that you feel students may need to know? Like, for example, a pro could be ensuring that, you know, you remember that FAFSA deadline. Like, make sure you remember it. And then a con would be waiting until the semester starts to check on the process or any other needs to ensure a successful semester. So are there any pros and cons that you can maybe think of? Of, or just some words of advice and encouragement to just ensure financial abundance and success as it pertains to college. Wow, well, that's a big, that's a lot of questions right there. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll try to go over some tips that I've learned over the past few years. So one thing I think is very important is um, just like for life in general is knowledge. So as long as you are equipped with the knowledge for what you're trying to do, then you can accomplish that goal. So pertaining to financial aid, if you have questions about the application, um, the process for applying for financial aid, if you have questions about how much you're going to receive or if you need to provide any additional documentation, anything really regarding financial aid, please reach out to a financial aid advisor. There are three to five here that... um, can assist students at Madonna specifically. So if you have their contact information or you need their contact information, it is on their website. Um, You can also reach out to your academic advisor and they'll be able to get you our contact information so we can help you out. But if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask because a lot of the difficulties regarding the FAFSA, the FAFSA itself is whatever, but if you have difficulty filling it out or you have difficulty figuring out what documents you might need to provide, yeah. the financial aid officer will be able to assist you. They 
have done the FAFSA before. Um, in fact, at my last job, I would walk through um, how to complete the FAFSA with students so that they knew step by step how to get the application done and send it to whatever school they're applying to. So we've done the FAFSA, we go onto the website at least two dozen times a day because we need to check over a bunch of different things, but we know the FAFSA inside and out, we know what questions they're asking, what documentation they may need from students or parents for that matter. So if you have questions, please ask because trying to guess what you might need um, while it's a noble effort, it yeah. might leave you even more confused and you might provide information that you don't need or you might provide the wrong information. So just keep asking questions. And that's a tip for life in general, not yeah. to sound like a teacher or anything. I'm definitely <laughs> no, not, absolutely. But you should always be asking questions because knowledge is power. Knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much. One more thing before I go, just a little bit of fun. Yes. Is there anything that has happened on campus, like a Madonna memory that you were just like elated about? Or that, that or it's just, it doesn't even have to be something that was super fun, but just something that just doesn't escape your memory. You're like, this is something I'm going to always remember about Madonna University. All right, so I, this doesn't have to do with financial aid or really anything, but no, within totally my first fine. few months here, um, they were having, I think it was graduation, and uh, Cruiser came out and just wanted to like say hi to everybody, and he was like flanked by two cheerleaders or something, I don't know, but I was <laughs> like, yo, I never got to like high five Sparty or take a picture with him when I was at MSU, so let me hit up a uh, cruiser which <laughs> ironically looks like sparty dressed in u of m colors so i right? thought that was really <laughs> really interesting so i got a couple pictures with him um and that just it made my day but that was like a year and a half ago i've been trying to just focus on my job here and not get in any trouble so <laughs> nothing really awesome. exciting has been happening since then but awesome how long have you been working for madonna since march of 2022 so it's coming up on two years in two awesome months. awesome 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 well we thank you for just taking out your time I lied. march of 2021 that that makes more sense 2021 yes. oh wow that's <laughs> like right what, after the pandemic i forgot it was uh it's not 2022 anymore so yeah. Like a year and 10 months ago. Yeah, like, we were still wearing masks and stuff when I came in, and I only saw, like, maybe two people. Everybody else was off doing their own thing. And it was... What has that transition been like? If we can just talk about that for a quick second. Yeah, so I wasn't here for the brunt of the pandemic. I wasn't at Madonna for the brunt of the pandemic, but evidently everyone just, like, went home. And I think there's a calendar... Um, from March of 2020 that was still hanging up when I came in, when I first got to Madonna in the uh, financial aid office. So I thought that was a nice relic of the past, but uh, everybody was wearing masks and we were able to, I think for two weeks, they just had us working from home. Um, and since then we've had days where we get to work from home to like decrease the amount of people that are in the office at a time. So I yeah. think it's been, super helpful and whoever's in charge of our scheduling has been very conscious of COVID and other diseases that could be spreading um, due to the proximity of people so it's I don't know 2020 was just weird and yeah. then the weirdness just kept going so it's, <laughs> yeah but it's it's been all right I do like being in the office because um, I do have two screens here so it makes the work go by not twice as fast, maybe one and a half times as fast as yeah. Really. But it's it's definitely nice, and you get to see a ton of people. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Awesome! Thank you so much. You gave us so much insight, and again, <laughs> we just appreciate your time and your dedication, helping us achieve you know financial abundance and knowledge. Because a lot of oftentimes we don't know what we're doing going into this. We're like, oh my goodness, what's going on? But we need assistance from people like you and the staff at Madonna. So thank you so much for chit-chatting with oh, you're us. You're very welcome. Thank you for... What is this going to be on? Like Spotify, YouTube? Are we doing well, Facebook the, still? It's for Madonna Herald. So okay. it'll be basically on probably the school website. Oh, so okay. www.madonna.edu. 
I've never been on a podcast before. This should be fun. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Before we go, we have to discuss our Madonna University advice spotlight. And this time around, we have two Madonna University spotlights. Our first one is brought to you by Bella Burchard, a forensic science major here at Madonna University. Listen, this is what she had to say. I encourage other students to fill out the application as soon as they can. Look into scholarships, find a couple of jobs that they may offer here on campus to ensure monetary and educational safety while obtaining your degree. Good insight, right? Our next one, of course, is brought to you by our own tuition and financial aid department, also located at madonna.edu. They simply say that one of the most affordable private liberal arts schools in the country is Madonna University, with tuition half the national average for similar institutions, and guess what? The lowest tuition for private colleges in Michigan. With that being said, I can ensure you that here at Madonna University, we will achieve financial abundance. And it is my prayer that you achieve your financial abundance in 2023. Have a great semester.